So a lot of players, they have a great stroke, but they miss the ball super long every single time to the point that they have to slow down their racket and just push the ball in. Hey everyone, my name's Tyler from Universal Rackets and today we are going over if you have a good stroke but you're missing the ball continually long, it's because of this. The ball is going super long because your strings are open. Once again, a lot of players, they have the best stroke as possible. They look like freaking Roger Federer while they're playing, or Novak Djokovic. Now you can't say Federer because Djokovic is the GOAT, right? He's won the most Grand Slams, but when you hit, you have the best stroke, but your strings are open at contact. If my strings are open at contact and they're facing upward, where in the world is this ball going? It's going up to the sky every single time. So again, players will have a great stroke, their strings are open, it's gonna go super long, so then they have to slow it down to get the ball in to utilize gravity. You need to make sure while you're making contact for your forehand or your backhand that your strings are facing down. Once again, I wanna make sure my strings are facing down when I hit, I don't want my strings to be open. Regardless of what stroke I have, if my strings are open, the ball's going long every single time. I need to keep those strings, strings down throughout contact throughout my whole shot. So how can we keep our strings down and how can we utilize that? It's very simple. You need to make sure that you are in the proper grip. Now, people will say, oh, well, you wanna be in continental, western, semi-western. That's how you do it. No, 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 screw grips. All you wanna do is you wanna make sure your strings are facing downward. You don't want your strings to be like this. You want your strings tilted downward. Now, I don't teach grips and that's not because I'm not educated about grips. I teach players to do whatever feels comfortable for them. So if you tilt the strings down and you're in a semi-western grip, good for you if that feels comfortable. If you're tilting the strings down and you're in a more eastern grip, good for you. That's what feels comfortable. Just make sure, again, your strings are tilted downward, okay? Well, Tyler, I tilt my strings downward and I still hit the ball super long. And that is probably because your strings are tilted downward, you're in the proper grip, but throughout your swing, you try to hit spin and you turn your wrist. Again, my strings are tilted downward, just like I said, but now throughout the swing, I turn my wrist. When I turn my wrist, what's going to happen? It's going to open up my strings. So even if you start out with your strings tilted down, you might turn your wrist and open up the strings and cause the ball to go out. You never want to turn the key in tennis. You never want to turn your wrist. You just want to move your wrist. Again, I'm doing a wave. I'm doing a sideways wave. I am never turning my wrist, okay? So again, you're gonna take the racket back, you're gonna keep the strings down, and you're gonna make sure that you don't turn your wrist because again, the strings will open up. Keep the strings down throughout contact. Now here is a huge thing. A lot of players, they take the racket straight back and their strings are facing to the side or up. So when I take my racket back, my strings are facing to the side or up. So now when I drop my racket and I swing, even if I'm in this grip, right? Even if I'm here, when I drop my racket, I go like this and my strings are to the side. Now I make contact with the strings facing out. How do we ensure that we don't drop the racket and have our strings facing out? This is another way for you. You're going to make sure that when you drop your racket, your strings are facing down. Again, when I take my racket back and I drop this racket, look, my string bed is facing down to the point that if I had a ball, I could bounce it right behind me. I'm not going like this. My strings aren't facing to the side. Now I would have to bounce it on the frame of my racket. I'm taking the racket pack and having my strings face down like I'm padding something behind me. By taking the racket back and having the strings down like I'm padding my, my something behind me, now when I proceed through my swing, my strings are going to be tilted down, a little bit square, and then follow through. If I take the racket back and uh, pad it with my frame, now look what's gonna happen. I'm going to open up. So when you drop this racket for your forehand, or your back end, you wanna make sure that your strings are facing down so you can keep them down. You don't want your frame facing down again because you're going to open up. So that is another way that you could think of and ensure that you keep your strings down is that you're padding something or bouncing the ball behind you so you can get proper contact. Now, I hope this video helps you. Again, if you keep your strings down, you'll be able to keep the ball in and play with topspin, hit the ball as hard as you want and still get the ball in the court. 
If you guys like my tips and tricks, make sure to follow me on the gram, Tennis with Tyler. My tennis tips are fire. Uh, make sure to subscribe me on YouTube. Make sure to click the link in my description for my ebook, instantly, instantly Improve My Serve, Instantly Improve My Forehand, all the top tricks and tips. Stop watching all these videos. Stop going paying for tons of lessons. Stop doing all this stuff. Just download my freaking ebooks and you're gonna solve all your tennis problems. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, or if you think Roger Federer, Nadal, or Djokovic is the GOAT, let me know in the comments below. We'll start a little um, debate, and I'll see you guys next time on court. Have a good one, happy hitting, and again, make sure your strings are down so you can keep that ball in and hit as hard as you want. See you guys next time.